Hi, I'm James Ford. I'm the guiding teacher of the Empty Moon Zen Sangha, and uh, we're gathered here today to uh, uh, reflect on various things. Uh, I belong to a uh, Zen teacher uh, um, listserv, and, uh, and it's kind of fun. Uh, it, you know, the, the smart ones speak, and, and I'm often edified, and and not, a, not in in uh, a very good example is uh, very recently uh, someone posted a, a query of one of the teachers in from a, what I would call the pure Soto community people who don't don't uh, um, work in the koan tradition like Rinzai or even those of us uh, who've inherited the Harati Asatani curriculum um, 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 do and and wanted to the query was where does that that koan come from about the person who tumbles over the edge of a cliff there's a lion a tiger above uh, him there's a tiger at the bottom of the cliff and and he notices uh, strawberries and uh, picks one and they're you know ex particularly exquisite in that moment uh, now, several people really were fast to say, you know, actually, that's not a koan. Um, um, and others, you know, kind of took it a step further, and I think more usefully, in fact, in in kind of ruminating on where it does come from. Um, um, for us in the West, I think probably we get it out of uh, um, the Nyogen Senzaki Paul Rep's 101 Zen stories. And uh, um, that's certainly where I encountered it first. Um, there is a, I think it's the 18th or 19th century anthology of parables and and anecdotes uh, um, called, I think it's Pebbles and Sand, Sand and Pebbles, um, a Japanese volume, and it, it 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 comes from there, and that's probably where Nyogen Senzaki found it. Somebody else said that um, she thought that the first citation she was aware of was from a, a, a text that I've never read called the Mahayana Sutra. Um, um, however, you know, this is one of those kind of world tales. You know, uh, there are versions, apparently in Tolstoy, there, there's a telling of it. Um, um, there's a version of it actually in the Mahabharata, the Hindu epic, in which it's used as an example um, for how even in the face of death, we can get trapped by sensory delights, you know, and it's considered an example of something bad. Uh, uh, so, I, you know, I, I'm, I was kind of taken with that, and, and, and then it kind of sparked a number of thoughts. There is actually a koan um, um, that is similar to it in the fact that somebody stumbles off the edge of a cliff, is hanging on, on uh, for dear life by, by um, um, his teeth, uh, and I don't know, there's some reason you can't use hands, uh, otherwise flailing in space. And then somebody comes and says, tell me, what's the uh, meaning of, uh, 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 Buddha, Buddha Dharma, of, of Daruma coming from, uh, from the West? You know, the Bodhidharma's, uh, teaching is kind of a shorthand invitation into what is the fundamental matter of life? Um, and here facing death and and there are a number actually it's one of the ones in koan introspection school is kind of interesting because there's kind of like two normative answers and and they're kind of in contradiction with each other in one way and uh, absolutely the same in another but 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 the people who advocate for the kind of the mainstream response uh for one um um and the, and the ones who make the same claim of normativeness for theirs, uh, um, find the other not quite up to snuff. Uh, uh, and I like that too. You know, I like that there's something mysterious in life. And, you know, there is this strawberry, there is this dharma, um, there is this world culture. There is this thing beyond and that, that, that isn't bound by, by one tradition or another, um, but it has to pop up in the specificity of, of a given time and place. And here we are, you know, we're in this kind of magpie uh, culture ourselves where um, we, we are gifted with the wisdoms of East and West and, and um, you know, throughout time. And, 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 and it's kind of hard to sort through sometimes, you know, because they're, they're often 
you know, even, you know, if you just go into one tradition, the internal contradictions are, you know, are amazing. In our, you know, kind of universalist approach to, to, to the intimate way uh, where we are anchored in our Zen traditions uh, here, but absolutely informed by all sorts of other, other approaches to, to spirituality. Uh, I was just out visiting the the good folk at the First Unitarian Church of Los Angeles. And uh, one of the kind of historic UU churches a little bit, it, it kind of down, it been down on his heels for a while, but, but um, um, an amazing historic expression of, of spirituality, spiritually informed social justice activism. You know, kind of a, a very interesting crowd. Um, um, their spirituality, the spirituality that they, they encompass and they embrace the word spiritual, um, but it's humanistic, you know, it's, it's, it's grounded in how do we live in this world right here, right now. Um, Christianity has its own gifts. Judaism has its own gifts. These are all different angles. And yet often the fundamental stories seem quite a bit different, um, but they always seem to take us back to that spot where we are, uh, uh, um, hanging over the edge of a cliff. Uh, 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 there is a tiger above us. There is a tiger below us. And uh, um, is it really j all about just, uh, you know, savoring that strawberry? I think there are moments when absolutely that's the greatest thing in the, in the universe. Um, I've tasted that strawberry a couple of times and I'm very grateful for it. But I'm kind of more called to that question, you know, well, what is the meaning of our heart's desire? What is this thing that calls us? What is this bigger thing that in, in, in our way we would call awakening, um, but is also salvation, is also uh, the healing of wounds? Uh, what about that thing in the middle of the, 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 the you know, hanging, from the cliff and having that tiger above and that tiger below. What about that? What about that? I, um, I find my own path, you know, very much informed by, by the contradictions that, that I've lived with that, that my own, my own shortcomings, my own, in fact, was it when I think about the spiritual path, I'm, I'm relentlessly called back to uh, that, that story that I've retold several times uh, uh, that I encountered in my in, in a nugget form in my in my um, spiritual childhood and not much off my, my literal childhood um, of a thief you know pretending they're 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 practicing until they they get it uh, you know, and and uh, fake it the fake it till you make it kind of spirituality that uh, uh, I think is super good you know this you know, throw ourselves on the pillow, bow, um, try to be decent human beings, try to reach out and be useful to others. Um, um, it almost doesn't matter what you think in the, you know, uh, in while you're doing it, it's what you do. And at some point what we do and what we think, you know, begin to, you know, to be that person who knows the secret for themselves, but has been asked to speak the truth, even if it costs their life. Uh, what about that spot? What about that for us? You know, on this, on this, on this mysterious path of of uh, life and death, and that little spot in between, and the and the and the the joy and the sorrow. Um, um, we're caught up in a time where where where. Um, Many of us are just just entangled in the politics of the moment. There, you know, uh, for me, you know, I, I I think we're in a dreadful crisis, uh, uh, and you know, um, I think that there are great opportunities facing us. But how is that connected to this spiritual path? How is that connected to to uh, what it is that we really are, and what is it that we really can be? And 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 for me. Um, you know, thank goodness for having the dumb luck to discover this simple practice, you know, of, of, of constantly returning to the pillow, constantly uh, noticing, 
constantly being present, watching my own thoughts, watching my own feelings, um, testing them against others like off the pillow in, the, in, in how other people engage this world. And, and I have been gifted with moments where those strawberries are not just interestingly apparently in the earliest versions is usually honey you know it's, it's a little you know and I, I, I don't know I kind of like the the poo bear uh, element of it where you have to kind of where it means you're also reaching into to angry you know angry bee territory to to taste it but that taste with all that stuff around it with all that stuff around it um, those can be little consolations on the way, you know, the small intimations that uh, um, um, we've been reminded of uh, uh, that happen as we unfold into this world. And then, and then it allows us to encounter that next step. How do we respond to the suffering of this world? Even if it's going to, where, where it no doubt will cost us, you know, maybe not literally our lives, but, but, it opens us up to uh, all sorts of unpleasantness. I I was I allowed myself to be entangled on Facebook the other the other day, where somebody uh, I made a kind of a unkind but I think accurate statement, um, and somebody you know had to make sure that I understood I was wrong, and and I made an angry response, and and um, fortunately. Facebook does have a delete button, and I, and I could, and I could, as, as the chain kind of got a little out of control, I, uh, I, uh, I snipped it, and uh, and that's the nice thing about Facebook. Then it looks like I'm much more reasoned and reasonable and kind because my little nastiness was gone. Uh, uh, but but there we are, forced into the world forced into how do we live constantly as we love in the West to paraphrase Dogen, making one, you know, the way is one continuous mistake. The reality is that the, the strawberry, the tiger, the tiger, the call to be of some use are one thing. Our way clarifies what that one thing is where as you unpack it you discover it's one thing and yet it's many and it's constantly being informing there are consequences to everything we say and everything we do and this life this life on the intimate way um, absolutely is one continuous mistake but it is also one continuous unfolding of joy and possibility and and it takes me to this moment where I find myself clinging to that branch. Um, the branch is beginning to to pull away from the from from the the rock cliff. Um, um, you know, I turned seventy two in in days, uh, and and in this moment, in this opening up into this letting the strawberry fall into my hand, letting the honey and the bees come together, letting myself say the Dharma as I best understand it, as clearly as I understand it in this, you know, through the, even if I've seen it through a glass darkly, I have been graced and I need to share it. And maybe each of us needs to share it. We need to open our hearts, we need to see, and we need to be ready to be a center of healing in this world. That's what we're offering here. Uh, this is our path, healing ourselves, healing others in a mysterious way that never pretends the wounds don't go away. Uh, a great play, a great dream, a great manifestation. A few thoughts on a Saturday morning.